you see the verses this weekend? I did. I did. I know you had your suit on. Yes, sir. Well, you was right. I know when you see Ron Isley with those suits on, you go, know, <laughs> no I ain't gonna lie. When when I was watching it, I'm like, damn, that's a motherfucking fire ass mink that nigga got on, yeah, or mink. chinchilla, whatever. Nah, the best one when they bro, they did suit changes when he came out with that gold suit. Bruh, I'm like, look, <laughs> Ronald. I don't even fuck with suits. I'm like, bro. Ronald. I need to be on that level when I'm 80. Mr. Isley. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, OG, put me on game. Come on, man. Talk to me. So you giving him your real nigga of the week? Yeah, I'm giving Ron Isley my real nigga of the week, Respect. Bro. I'm Also, also, with these versus battles, have you noticed that when, when they get announced, everybody on Twitter give they who they think is going to win? Twitter is wrong every time. Every. As soon as it was announced, they was like, oh, "Earth, Wind, and Fire, I got this, bro." They for one, smoked them. For I one, the smoke. I don't know why down. you would think Earth, Wind, and Fire will win against the Osley Brothers. <sighs> Earth, Wind, and Fire got some okay legendary shit, bro. They okay, got September. Okay, right, 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 right. They got a bunch of shit, bro. They got they got some shit. You can you can I can I can name you countless. Countless records <coughs> from the Isley brothers. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't think everybody remembered what he had. And then I didn't think, I think nobody really thought he was going to get in that R. Kelly bag. I'm going to tell you, and not, not just that, I don't think everyone knows what all he really sings. Yeah. Like, I heard in the intermission, they was playing I Got Work To Do. That's one of my favorite songs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's a B, B side. Yeah, that's because, yeah, yeah. Bro, they made shout. Come on. I like, rather smoke the, them a lot of people don't know that. You get what I'm saying? Or didn't know that before. Oh, for God. <laughs> True indeed. So, man, look, I just said to say, because I listened to a lot of music from that 50s and 60s era, yeah. and Ronald Isley and them, uh, like, he's one of my favorite singers. They're one of my favorite groups, you know. Um, To me personally, he has too much to really be competed. Like somebody tweeted, uh, the Isley Brothers are the first group to now play records from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the 2000s because Contagious came out in 2001. Well, they're the only group yeah. that's been a part of yeah. every and generation. Just, and they just added this week because they just they dropped a new just song. another yeah. yeah. Well, Snoop so Dogg, I think I think it was her Snoop. yeah yeah. So friends and family or something like that. Yeah, that's it. That's but, it. But um, so in that regard, my thing is this. Uh, one that was an ignorant statement, and it's not to knock a boy, but it's just to say their catalog is that is is truly the the only person I could think of. That would have been able to compete had he not been taken from us. Would have been someone like a Marvin Gaye. Mm. You talking against the Isleys? Yeah, I think that was a good matchup. I think it, I think they I made, think it they is. They made different kind of music, also. I think it's a good matchup, but I say it to say this: it's hard to go against someone where almost every re twenty records, almost every record I play, you're gonna know. Yeah, and it's gonna. Reinvigorate, you and, know what I'm and saying? People gotta put this in consideration. Earth, Wind, and Fire, they're legendary, but they wasn't making no hits like when we was little kids. Still, they was done at that point. They was already a legendary. They band. didn't cross generations. Yeah. That's what I'm telling. Yeah, like Ozzy Brothers, it, the Ozzy Ozzy music Brothers, didn't evolve, is what yeah, I mean. By the time we were little, like Ozzy Brothers, like oh, we ain't really doing Ozzy Brothers. Like fuck it, I'm I'm Ron Osley feature. Make his song R. Kelly. Come on. Uh, Kelly Price and shit like that. Come on. Shit like that. Come on, he, man. He, like, he branched off and evolved, so he kept making hits. And then what that, the, what was the last Earth that Fire opens your heard? mind to, yeah. to, to checking out his catalog and things like that. And when you're hearing 
older songs, recognizing that's who does what and who did that. So that's, again, another reason why I say. Now, I mentioned Marvin Gaye because Marvin Gaye made music in the 50s, 60s. Uh, and you saw his music evolve with the times. Yeah. He went from doing doo-wop to swing to the revolutionary sound and, you know, um, so it's, it's, it's really hard to pit people against each other just because of status. Yeah. You have to think about um impact yeah. and 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 also longevity. Strategy also. True. True. But people just look at a person and be like, it's just if you play all your big hits first, you're gonna lose. Like for example, when Fabulous went against Jada Kiss, everybody was like, oh Fabulous about to smoke him because mm -hmm. Fabulous got hits on hits on hit billboard hits. Jada Kiss destroyed that nigga because he played his he played his B cuts that are considered like street classic. But then he also like strategized when he played his shit. Fabulous played all his big hits in the first ten songs, and then by the time song eleven came, it was all it was over for him. It drowned you out, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I saw I saw the whole MJ and Prince talk come about again. I saw someone tweet a really good point. It's hard to, I think it was Paz. It's hard to really it's 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 hard to compare the two because um you know MJ was more of just an artist and Prince was really a composer, a you know, he was so much more involved, yeah, a writer, he was everything in in he played like guitar and different shit yeah. and all that. Um, I feel like a better one would be Prince and Rick James. Prince and Rick James. Um, I feel like that's more up there. I, I mean, think they, that's they got, that, they got the beef also. I think that's good. I didn't know they had beef. Yeah, yeah. Rick James hated Prince. Yeah, I could believe. That. Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah Prince, now yeah, you're bringing yeah, it back. Prince, okay. Yeah, Prince used to open up for um Rick James. Rick James and he and Prince kind of like outshined them. So he and James them. used to always do uh little nasty shit. Yeah. So, um, I I need to see your girl do a, a story on that. She did one on. Uh, she did one on Rick James. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have she to check it out. Prince yet. Um. I think that might be that would be a really interesting battle. I don't know how I would score that one. Like um, everything in me wants to lean MJ just off the strength, you know what I'm saying? But Rick James has No Prince, Prince Rick. Oh, I am sorry. Uh I mean uh um, <coughs> put it this way, I'm gonna have Prince winning. It's gonna be close though. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like around I ain't even close. 12 8. Prince is going to win, but it's not going to be like. Because I don't see nothing. I don't see a lot of. I, if I hear Ebony Eyes. Yeah. That's a win. I'm going to hear Super Freak. Fire and Desire. Yeah. A, I'm sorry. Yeah. Unless Prince play Diamond and Pearls, but then I don't know. Ooh. But, ooh. Yeah, I think I give it to Prince. I mean, but then Prince had hits when Rick James was damn near out of here. Call my name. Yeah, call yeah. my name. I'm going with that. When does cry? Up, working up a hot sweat. Come on. Um, I, I'm definitely going Prince. Yeah, I'm going Prince. Prince gonna win. But again, Rick James, Rick James ain't far behind because Rick has records, man. Oh yeah, Rick. I, Classes on classics. He just got that powerful voice. Yeah, yeah, I like Ray James singing voice. Um, who would you pit against, Mike? Oh, uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. I might one of the ones where like I'm gonna be real. I'm I like Prince way more than Mike, but I respect Mike's um, legendary status, and I wouldn't say. Of course, he was more famous than Prince was. But um, I wouldn't know who to put against Mike, to be honest. I wouldn't even know. I'm going to keep that a buck. All right. But back to the Osley brothers. Uh, Yeah, they smoked them boys. They smoked them Earth, Wind, and Fire boys. And I don't want to 
I don't hear no money more of y'all predictions, man, because y'all Twitter niggas be wrong every yeah. time, man. Yeah, it's totally.